All right, it's time to get those potatoes in the ground. Let's go do this, you guys. Hey you guys, welcome back to another episode of Lonely Pines Farm. Today's video is part two on our chitting potatoes. We're actually putting them in the ground. All right, so I just wanna show you guys real quick how we go about planting potatoes. Super simple. What I did uh, about two weeks ago was dig a trench deeper than these ones here that you see right down the center. And I filled that full of composted horse manure and then I put down some uh, triple phosphate because I know that uh, our land here is lacking in phosphorus and also potatoes are a root crop. So we need a lot of phosphorus, less nitrogen for them. So I'm gonna run a little experiment. This potato has not been chitted whatsoever. There is some very small growth on it, however. Um, I know a lot of times, when I was a kid anyway, my dad used to just take the potatoes and cut them in half and drop them in the hole. And they grew just fine. So we're gonna give it a shot and see what happens here today. Also spacing on potatoes is approximately 12 inches. We're running two rows. Uh, just happens to be that this spade is six inches long, so is the handle. So you're looking at roughly a foot apart from side to side. And then I'm also gonna stagger them a foot apart. This is probably uh, close to four or five inches deep already. I'll take a little bit out of there, drop the potato cut side down into the hole. And then I'll come over to the other side, guess roughly six inches or so. Take your potato, drop it down in the hole. Lo and behold, I happen to have two potatoes handy. That's a good thing. You can see again, maybe you can't see it on camera, but there are some very small little starts going here. But they're way behind the potatoes that we chitted earlier. So we'll see what happens. I imagine these ones will be a little slow, but uh, they'll still grow. I do know that. Again, just dig a little hole, press it down. The goal is to have the potato about four, maybe five inches below the surface. And then as they grow, we're going to hill them a little bit. We'll get into that in a second. <laughs> All right. So I like to space my potatoes out about 12 inches on center. You can see that both of these rows are approximately 12 inches apart. And then I stagger them. That way I can fit more potatoes into a row than a conventional one right down the middle. This will be a 50 foot row and should have approximately 100 seed potatoes in it. So my personal experience has been that when you're planting things in the garden, one of the most important things for you to do is to water stuff in. Obviously, if you're planting from seed, you need to get those seeds good and wet so that they germinate. Um, I feel like potatoes are, are another thing just like it. They're buried deep. You're gonna need to water down there. So I usually try to water them while they're still in their furrow. Water them in pretty heavy. Want to make sure they seat well against the dirt down there to grow roots. And then I just come back with my rake and I knock down the center. I will intentionally leave these two sides of the furrow high. That way when I'm watering, it'll help to hold the water in. And also it'll give me dirt for later to hill up around the potatoes. When potatoes are growing, you want to pull up more dirt around the stems, probably maybe two, three, sometimes even four times a year as they're growing. 
you're basically hilling them, but you're keeping the roots all underground. You don't want the nightshade potato to be exposed to the sunlight. All right, so we're all watered in and things are looking good. We'll try to keep it moist in there, but not too wet. You don't want them to rot, of course. You should be good on watering probably for a couple of days. These are the Idaho spuds that I just finished. And I got a little bit of leftover trench there. I think I'll probably get some turnips in the ground. It's about time for those too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a quick update to show you what we do to our potatoes. Leave any comments or questions below. We'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. You can find us on all the different social network platforms. You guys be safe out there. Have a great day and happy growing.